Hello friends, this video on wind storms and cyclones part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So I hope that now you have realized the problems that arise when winds flow with very very high speeds because the basic reason still remains that high speed winds are always accompanied by low pressure areas and the difference in the pressure areas that causes more and more air to flow which in turn causes huge destruction right okay so now what you realize is the speed of the wind is one important thing that needs to be controlled. So if the speed of the wind is too much, it can cause problems. Now, since these are all natural phenomena, we really do not have any control on them. So what can we do to protect ourselves, to protect life, to protect other living organisms, to protect the houses, buildings, everything? So what can we do? One good idea would be to predict when a cyclone can happen, when a tornado can happen. Now, how can we predict all this? So for this, we need to have some idea on the speed of wind. So measuring the speed of wind becomes something which is very, very important because wind speed determines a lot of things. So therefore, now we will talk about, is there any way we can measure wind speed? Yes, there is. So there is a device called anemometer and this device is used to measure wind speed. So anemos is a green Greek word. Anemos is the Greek word which means wind. So that is why the device is called anemometer. So roughly this is how an anemometer looks like. However, there are many different varieties of anemometer and they have different structures. So but basically what they do is they have three cups which spin in wind. So here you can see these are the three cups, one, two and three. So it's like three similar structures which are arranged and it is capable of like rotating like this. So they spin as the wind blows. Now as they spin, the wind speed is displayed on an LCD display. So there is a display. So this is a very basic structure. So you do not have the display boards and all that. But when you actually look at an anemometer, it will have a display, LCD display, where you will be able to see the wind speed. There will also be a vane which aligns, which displays the direction of the wind. So this is the vane which shows the direction of the wind. So, so we get to know that the wind is moving in which direction so that will help us to predict that okay the wind if, if we feel that the wind speed is very high and it is moving in a specific direction for the past couple of days so that might help us to get cause an idea about where it can go in the future days right so so that ways uh, this device is of great help now some of the anemometers also look like this where you can clearly see the LCD display and inside this LCD display you can actually measure the wind speed. Now let us talk about some of the safety measures which we should take now that we know um, that winds can cause destruction, thunderstorms, cyclones, these they cause huge destruction. So what can we do in order to protect ourselves, to keep ourselves safe? So one thing that can be done is that needed to that is needed to be done is cyclone warnings to be communicated. Now if we inform everyone beforehand that a cyclone might occur in this particular area. So people of that area will remain uh, aware. They will know that, okay, something like this might happen. So we should stay safe. We should prepare ourselves to move to or to, uh, or to migrate to a safer place so that minimum harm happens. So that means people can prepare themselves. Not only that, cyclone shelters can be created. What are these cyclone shelters? Now, as I said, that uh, normally uh, the houses and buildings, not everything is um, constructed which are cyclone resistant. However, cyclone resistant buildings can also be created. So these buildings will have the power to withstand the intensity of cyclone. So even if the cyclone is of higher intensity, the building will be strong enough to withstand it. 
So these kind of cyclone shelters should be created. Now some of the important points which need to be remembered when uh, cyclone shelters are created are they should be located very far away from large trees, communication towers. They should also be located far away from the coastline and also away from the storm tide areas. So that's how all uh, necessary uh, conditions should be satisfied and only then the cyclone shelter should be created. But creation of cyclone shelters would be possible only when the warnings have been communicated beforehand so that uh, the appropriate authorities or organizations do have enough time so that, so that they can create the cyclone shelters. Stay away from water in cyclone hit areas. Now why do we need to stay away from water because wherever cyclone, whichever area is being hit by cyclone, so that area is also being hit by, uh, you know, high tides of the sea. So flood has already occurred there. So because of that, now when I say flood, I mean huge amount of water would have entered that region because of which the water would have been contaminated. So drinking water should be stored beforehand so that people should not do not consume the contaminated water and then fall ill so that's one thing secondly water should be kept away from all kind of electrical circuits because when there is so much of water around so what happens is a lot of cables wires open circuits might also have come in contact with water so it is very important to stay safe and not to touch unnecessarily any wet circuits or switches or plugs because that can give electric shock and it can even become fatal in that situation. So therefore, it is advisable that people uh, should not unnecessarily come out of their houses and create a chaos. They should try to help each other. They should cooperate. And at the same time, they should do things which are safe for themselves and then try to save others. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.